Hello and welcome. Today I'll teach you how to crochet this halter top. Uh, it's a crop version of this. And with a back like this. This tutorial, I will show you how to do it in a size medium. If you want other sizes, I will leave a link in the description for the written pattern and other sizes. But now I will show you how to begin and we will begin with this ripped uh, bottom part and then work our way up the top, finishing off with the strap. So let's begin. You will not be needing a lot of materials for this. I have used this cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton and in a color turquoise. Then I've used some scissors a tapestry needle and a crochet hook size 3.5 millimeters. And just like the written pattern, I will leave a link in the description for all the materials. We begin with the bottom part of the top and we start with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and sink the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we make a chain, so yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And we chain 18. So you go ahead and pause the video and start it again when you have 18 chains. When we have 18 chains, we begin working in the other direction. We begin from the second chain. So skip this first one and insert your hook in the second chain. Then we do a single crochet, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Remember, we skipped the first stitch, so you should have 17 stitches when we are all the way across. When you're all the way across, you should make sure that you have 17 stitches. Then we chain one and turn the work. We will continue working in single crochet, but from now on we will only work in the back loop. Still skip this first one and work from the second stitch. Then insert your hook in the back loop of this stitch, so in between the legs and only through the back loop. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So still single crochet. In the next stitch, one back loop, single crochet. the next stitch, insert your hook in the back loop and do a single crochet. And again all the way across, the same stitch, one back loop single crochet in every stitch. When you're all the way across, you still have 17 stitches. You chain one and then turn the work. From now on you will only be working in back loop single crochet. So continue working your rows back and forth. Remember to skip the first stitch, only work from the second one. Insert your hook in the back loop and single crochet. Back loop single crochet. Remember to chain one every time you turn and then work back and forth, back loop single crochet for 116 rows. When you have your 116 rows, you have a piece looking like this and mine measures 54 centimeters. Now we need to connect the ends. So connect them and don't worry, this will stretch. And now we want to make a seam to connect these ends. 
So pull out your hook and insert it in the one across, in the stitch across from your loop. Then insert your hook in the loop, yarn over, pull through both. Insert your hook in the next stitch and the one across. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. And again in the next stitch, insert your hook through all the stitches. Yarn over, pull through all the stitches, all the loops. So we do a seam of slip stitches all the way down. Just insert your hook through both stitches on either side, yarn over and pull through all. So now you see you connect them. So continue all the way across. And then we have the bottom part connected. This is the wrong side of the top, so we will now turn it over and have the right side out. And we will now begin working horizontally. So we will now be working in all these rows from now on. We will do one single crochet in every row. So this is a row this is a row, and also the ones that lies in the back, these are also rows. So you begin with the first one, insert your hook in the first row, and do a single crochet. And then in this one behind, just insert your hook, and do a single crochet. Then in this one, insert your hook. There's no right or wrong place to insert your hook, just force it in. You made 116 rows in total, so now you will have 116 single crochet all the way across all the way around. When we're all the way around, we do one slip stitch in the very first single crochet we did on the round. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And now we connected these ends of this first round of single crochet. Now we chain one and then turn the work. So we will not be working in rounds, we will be working back and forth. So now you work your way all the way back with one single crochet in every stitch. Remember, skip this first one and begin working from the second stitch. So insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. In the next stitch, one single crochet. So one single crochet in every stitch all the way to the other end and then you do a slip stitch in this first single crochet you did. When you're all the way around you do a slip stitch in this first one then you chain one and turn and work the other way around. Then continue for nine rows of single crochet counting this one as your first and you just began the second one. Make nine rows of single crochet. I'm finishing up my ninth row and I insert my hook in the first stitch of the round to complete the round. Do a slip stitch and then it's complete. We now have nine rows. I chain one and turn the work. Now we'll begin working up the front of the top like this and I want to mark the halfway point so we have 116 stitches all the way around so you now count half of them 
that's 58 stitches counting from the second one because this chain never counts that doesn't count, count as a stitch so from the second one that's the first second third so on until 58 then you mark this one so you know the halfway point and begin from the second stitch and single crochet as you have done all up until now so you just continue with single crochet all the way across just until you reach the stitch marker and when you reach the stitch marker that is your final stitch so remove that one do a single crochet in the final stitch where the stitch marker was and the difference is now we don't chain one before we turn so just turn and do not chain one then skip the first stitch and insert your hook in the second stitch just like we always do and then do one single crochet all the way across and we didn't chain one so now we begin decreasing so for each time we turn we decrease a bit and that way the top is going to uh, continue doing like this all the way up so continue all the way across with one single crochet in every stitch when you reach this last stitch over here this one you do not chain one you just turn so do this as your final stitch then turn the work and then work back and forth only on this front panel I continue like this until I only have 21 stitches left up here so now I want to make the strap for the neck so I no longer want to decrease so I chain one and then I turn the work Then from the second stitch, I do a single crochet and another two single crochet. So that's three single crochet. Then chain one and turn the work. Then again from the second stitch, you do the three single crochet. three and then you chain one and turn so you see now we're working on the strap so you continue until it reaches around your neck with three single crochet then chain one and turn until it reaches around the neck I finished my strap and I made it 31 and a half 31 and a half centimeters long now you cut your yarn and pull through the yarn. Then you find your tapestry needle and thread it. And you'll now attach the strap on the other side of your top. Make sure it doesn't twist. Like this. And then you fasten it, you attach it to the other side. Using the mattress stitch. So I just insert my needle. And then I insert my needle between the two pieces and up the other side. And again between these two and from underneath up the opposite side 
the mattress stitch, I think, gives the most invisible seam. So just one stitch in every stitch. <laughs> what it's called one seam stitch I don't know I don't care either so that's it I will secure the yarn on the back side of my top going through a couple of stitches and again the other way through the same stitches just go in somewhere else and again go in somewhere else through the same stitches three times that's enough then it won't get up then we cut the yarn and now I want to make an edge to it because I think it needs an edge and it has a tendency to curl so i will begin the edge from over here in the armpit it doesn't matter how where you begin so i will insert my hook grab the yarn then chain one and then I will do one round of single crochet I will just adjust this so everyone is able to see what I'm doing that's it now I will do one single crochet for every row. So each time you have this little bump, that is every second row. So you need to do two single crochet for each of these bumps. So if you do the stitches between the bumps, you're doing two single crochet between each of these bumps. So I insert my hook, do a single crochet and another single crochet and then I move to the other side of this first bump and do a single crochet then another single crochet in the next row and then I pass this next bump so two single crochet in the next two rows and so on so that's that gives a nice edge to it i will do one single crochet all the way around also in the neck around here but only single crochet in this part of the top on the strap i will only do slip stitches so still two stitches for each of these little bumps but only slip stitches from here on so do single crochet up until here like this and when you make it to the strap you do one slip stitch so insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through whoops i will do that again sorry pull through pull through Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And it's because I don't want the straps to get any wider. I like the, the width of the straps. I just want them to be um, prettier. I like a more finished looking edge. You already can already see this stitch along the edge it's much more beautiful than the other side it gives a lot more finish 
without getting it wider. So continue all the way around, slip stitches on the strap and single crochet on the other part. And after you weaved in all your ends, you have this very easy halter top, very easy to wear on many occasions, mostly casual. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you please. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!